In this video, I'm going to talk about five hidden mechanics that almost no one talks about. Not everyone knows these mechanics. I learn things every day. But if you're one of these guys or girls that thinks they know everything in the game, let's make a deal right now. If I say something that you didn't know about the game, you subscribe to the channel. One thing that no one probably even noticed because they never had trouble doing a running jump on a ledge that's far away, if they're wearing mage armor, no light armor, they probably didn't even notice this. But if you're wearing heavy armor and you're trying to do a running jump to jump further away, because you're too heavy, you cannot jump as far as someone who's in light armor. So the more weight you have, basically, the less fast you run and you don't get enough speed to do the long jump here to go get the moonbow, for example. I tried to do this jump many times until I reduced my weight. I was not able to reach this rooftop right here. Another thing is, if you're heavy, like super heavy, you drop down faster and you take more fall damage. Just a little bit, but that's something that a lot of people don't know. It's kind of like what would happen in real life if you think about it. Another thing is, you gotta watch out for weather conditions in Elden Ring because if it's raining, you're taking more lightning damage and less fire damage. So if you're fighting a boss using lightning, he's probably gonna clock you if it's raining and vice versa. Right here, I'm porting where there's no more rain and my flame resistance and lightning resistance will become normal. You can use this to your advantage and it can also be a disadvantage, especially when you're not aware about it. If you're fighting ads in a zone like learning of the lakes and you do a lightning attack well the water becomes like conductive and it will do more damage you can actually do a lightning attack and it becomes aoe damage so that's the thing with you know the weather conditions you can use water to your advantage you can use rain to your advantage etc another thing that a lot of people are not aware about when you use your mimic if you're using the lord of blood's rune you're actually going to give him the lord of blood's boon two times so he'll get the buff twice and do 40 percent more damage instead of 20. when you're using the rune of moog and the lord of blood's exaltation medallion he will do 40 percent more damage for like 20 seconds but it can actually help to burst some bosses and last but not least something that probably none of you know except a few people rare are the people who know this dexterity governs your spell casting time and incantation casting time. If you have more than 70 dexterity, you're at cap for spell casting time. In other words, don't wear the Radagon icon if you're over 70 dexterity, because it's useless. In other words, the Radagon icon can be useful for someone that does not have a lot of dexterity, but someone who is like a hybrid that runs swords and has high dexterity, and sometimes incantations, well, basically that medallion is totally useless. Anyways. I hope that I just said at least one thing that you didn't know. Leave a comment down below if this actually made you learn something about Elden Ring. Thanks for watching.